Hey everyone, I am so excited to share with you today some new information we have regarding the $25,000 Biden grant that has recently been revised. So I wanted to share with you what it previously was looking like and what it looks like now. Um, previously, it was a $15,000 tax credit that he was talking about and proposing. Now it is revised to a $25,000 grant, grand total that you can get. Um, the requirements are you have to be a first time home buyer. What is a first time home buyer? It's somebody who has not held deed to a home or owned a home in the last three years. They are also requiring, now they've added, you have to be a first generation home buyer. What is that? That means that your parents, both of your parents cannot have owned a home in your lifetime. So in your lifetime, they cannot have owned a home. So the third requirement is that you have to fit under 80% of the median income. And in a high cost area, you have to fit under 120% of the median income. And that's something you can Google for your area. It's very easily provided that information on the internet. So if you're curious in your counties, just Google median income, you know, Placer County or Sacramento County, and it should pop right up to let you know if you fit that income limit. Now the new $25,000 grant that recently came out, 20,000 of it is available to those that I just mentioned that fit the three categories, first time home buyer, first generation home buyer, and they fit the median income limit. The remaining 5,000 of the grant is only available for what they consider socially and economically disadvantaged individuals. And so I will provide the link to the draft summary of this specific bill so you can see for yourself the information. But to quote you the verbiage of who is eligible for the additional 5,000, I'll go ahead and just read to you what it states. The act defines socially disadvantaged individuals as those who have been subjected to racial or ethnic prejudice or cultural bias because of their identity as a member of a group without regard to their individual qualities. An economically disadvantaged individual is one who meets the bill's income requirements. Any individual identifying as Black, Hispanic, Asian American, Native American, or any combination thereof will be presumed to meet this definition. Any individual who does not identify as such will have to prove by a preponderance of evidence that they are socially disadvantaged. So you might think, well, why is this happening? Why is this coming out? Well, previously in the past, FHA financing was absolutely redlining clients where they were not allowing buyers to purchase and get mortgages through them. They would not insure them if they fit a social class. So uh, it was a very real thing. And so there has been acts put into place to protect against this discrimination, okay? So the requirements for this particular program is that the buyers have to complete a first time home buyer course approved by the Housing of Urban Development. And there are some counseling agencies that you can look up on their website to make sure that they are approved because you don't wanna waste money. They typically tend to cost about $99 for the class. So what the uh, grant can be used for in the purchase of a home is your closing costs, your down payment, your recurring closing costs, which is your taxes, insurance, and your interest, uh, as well as your um, homeowner's insurance. And then your non-recurring closing costs, which is your processing, underwriting fees, your title company costs. And then you can also use the money to buy down your interest rate or any points that are out there. So there is a few negatives that I can see with this new program. If you live in the home less than one year, you literally have to pay the entire thing back. But who lives in a home less than one year, right? So every year after the first year, 20% of the amount is decreased that you live in the home. So every year you live in the home, it decreases by 20%. And there is no penalty as long as you live in the home for five full years, they actually waive the money and you do not have to pay it back at all. So some of the negative impacts of what this could create is there's already so much competition right now with houses. 
this is going to bring more buyers into the market and that is gonna make it even more competitive. It could raise home prices. The other downfall is not a lot of people are necessarily gonna qualify. Maybe they make too much money or they don't fit the social class, right? So the goal of this program was to help bridge the gap, the homeownership gap, and the generational wealth gap for minorities who in the past could not purchase and it did not allow them to gain this equity and pass it on to their children, et cetera. And that's why with the program, they are requiring you know, multi-generational, like the, the fact that the first generation homeowner counts your parents and what they have done, right? So they're trying to give this money in, to a selective group where, hey, not only do you not own a home, but your parents didn't own a home since you've been alive, right? So basically the last 20 years, most people don't buy houses till a minimum of 18 years plus. So the, the last downfall of the program I find is that it's gonna be distributed by a state agency, which of course, as you can imagine how your services with the DMV, it's gonna be a lot slower of a process, which is not as attractive to sellers when you are out writing offers. So that can be a downfall. So I am gonna include some links for you guys to, to research and get a little bit more data if you would like. I will include that down below. I do wanna say that redlining was a very real thing. So I'm really excited that they are re re releasing programs or, or trying to get programs released to bring home ownership to more people. It's amazing. Buying a home is one of the most amazing things I've ever done. And I do wanna see that for more people out there. If you have any questions, please feel free to jot them down below. We'll get back to you right away. If you'd like to apply with us, I included that link as well. All right, well, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Mm,